In this video, we're going to show you the all nylon round sail slugs. We're going to show you how they install with shackles and also with webbing. Let's get started. To start with, we're going to use the snap-in plastic shackle. This is the smaller size snap-in plastic shackle. Works great. It does require a spur grommet to be installed along its edge. <coughs> and you can use a number one spur grommet or a number two. And as you've seen, all you need to do is apply pressure until it locks in place. Now let's move on to the, the larger uh, snap-in plastic shackle. This one works exactly the same way. Put it in through a number one or a number two spur grommet. Now this one does require a little bit more pressure to snap the shackle in place, so we'll use some pliers. And there we are. We'll move on now to the standard screw-on plastic shackle. The previous shackle and this shackle have a pip to prevent jamming. And just uh, put it on, the, uh, put the slug on the shackle, and then position it over that spur grommet. Again, a number one or a number two, and then uh, use the stainless steel screw that's included and screw it down. No need to tighten too hard; it could strip it out. And these work very, very nicely. They do require a grommet. Now here's the heavy-duty screw-on plastic shackle. It works exactly the same way. It's a little bit bigger, uh, but uh, gets the job done. So if you need a little bit of extra length uh, and a little bit thicker uh, vinyl shackle, this is the one for you. Same principle. Screw it in place. And there it is installed. This is about how much room you have. This is a 5 16th bolt rope that we're uh, uh, installing these shackles and slugs against. A 5 16th inch bolt rope. All right, now we're going to move on to the screw on plastic shackle. Uh, this is the uh, uh, 11 64th narrow width. It goes on nice and easy because the plastic on it is uh, a little bit lighter than the uh, wide 5 8 inch. Uh, so all you do is just push it over the edge. You'll notice it does not require a spur grommet. It does not require a grommet at all. All you do is take that stainless steel screw and screw it right into the sail until it comes out on the other end and then screws into the shackle itself. And there's the finished result. It's nice and tight as would need be required with a shackle without a grommet. They're obviously not as strong. Now we're going to use the wide 5 8 inch screw on plastic shackle. This one's a little bit stubborn because the plastic is so thick. So we recommend that you take a screwdriver and pre-bend this open. Otherwise you'll have a hard time getting it over your bolt rope. So I'm pre-bending it here. Now it's a little bit easier to flex onto that bolt rope. If you don't do this, you may find yourself spending 15 minutes to install just one. Once it's over the boat rope, again, simply install the stainless steel screw in s that's included. And there you go. Nice, tight fit. Uh, the final Sailrite suggestion for the all-round sail slugs is to use webbing. If you don't have a grommet installed in your uh, sail and you don't want to use the uh, screw on plastic shackles that do not require a grommet, you may want to use tubular webbing. This is a polyester tubular webbing. We recommend a half inch or three quarter inch polyester tubular webbing. And I'm applying basting tape or seam stick to the back side of, of this webbing so that everything stays in place when I take it over to the sail and sandwich it in between. So here we are with this slug and then I've taken it over my sail and I sandwich that webbing over top of the uh, luff or the foot edge of the sail. And then I take it over to the sewing machine and we'll sew a zigzag and we'll go forwards and reverse until it's locked down nice and tight. This is the Sayerite Alter Feed Machine. Then we'll do this a couple times here, once closer to that bolt rope and one further in. Again, reverse and forward a few times, locking that slug on there nice and tight. We'll then use pre-wax twine, a number 16 hand needle, and a palm and we'll sew between the boat rope and the slug and we'll do figure eight uh, turns with this line. So I go through the center and then leave enough trailing line so that I can tuck it in my, pre in my future uh, uh, stitches and then I go through the top again with the line going over the one side there and I tuck that trailing line that's uh, sticking out there to make sure that it's locked in place 
apply some good pressure. Now I'll go through the uh, top again, except for this time I will create a figure eight on the other side. So I make a the loop come around on the other side rather than that side we just came through. This creates a nice figure eight. You want to do this uh, at least twice on each side. You can do it more if you'd like it more secure. Now we're doing it on the other side. All right, I think you get the idea here. When we've completed that, we'll take the uh, needle and we'll tuck it between some of the previous stitches we did earlier. We'll do that a few times here. And then I like to come back up through the center of that webbing one more time, and then I use a hot knife to secure it in place. So now I'm going back up through the center of the webbing. then I'll take my hot knife and I'll cut the line and then melt the line. So here I'm cutting the line of the twine and then I melt it and once it's got a good melt on it I'll take my finger and press on it and it creates a button locking everything in place. And that's a real good fastening method. It takes a little bit longer but if you don't have grommets and you don't want to use shackles this system works well.